provinces and regions have no counting log and no way to find out on how many votes were cast in their area. Park suggests this error allowed for more votes to be cast. Prominent conservative figures in South Korea and the U.S. joined to discuss allegations of election fraud in Korea and how it could happen here in the U.S. too. NTD's Christina Kim has more. On April 15th, South Korea held a legislative election in their National Assembly. They used a mixture of in-person and absentee mail-in votes. Of the 300 seats in the Assembly, President Moon's Democratic Party won an unprecedented majority of 180 seats. That is 57 more seats than they won in the previous election. Statistical evidence, however, shows extremely abnormal voting patterns, which could undermine the validity of the election. South Korean lawyer Park Joo-hyun spoke in depth about the security issues the country faced with absentee mail-in voting. The number of mailed votes that left the post office did not match the number of votes that arrived at the final post office destination. This indicates there was serious fraud in the mail-in voting system. Furthermore, the number of votes was counted and controlled by a central server, not by the individual post offices. In other words, individual post offices and regions have no counting log and no way to find out on how many votes were cast in their area. Park suggests this error allowed for more votes to be cast than the number of registered voters. Park went on to describe unnecessary pit stops in some delivery routes. Votes mailed from the southern Ulsan post office to the Oolong post office were found to have passed through a Daejeon exchange center. We've seen a lot of carries make these kinds of irrelevant stops. In Incheon, many votes had eerily identical characteristics. Records showed they were all mailed at the same time, arrived at the same time, and were even delivered by the same mailman on identical routes. Park says this unusual pattern heavily implies that these votes were manufactured. Professor Walter Mabane of the University of Michigan also analyzed the Korean election results. Tara Oh, who spoke at the event, described her findings. That over 1.4 million votes were fraudulent. That's, that's quite a bit. Of those, one over one, a uh, slate over 1 million votes were manufactured, and, and about 360,000 votes were stolen from other candidates. According to O, there is video evidence showing workers improperly storing ballots. Early votes were stored in duffel bags in a gym. Mail-in votes were transported in unlocked open plastic baskets. Many experts are saying the Korean election was heavily influenced by the CCP. Former chief of staff in the National Security Council in America, Fred Flights, links the potentially fraudulent Korean election to the upcoming U.S. presidential election in November. The Democratic Party and the mainstream media constantly look the other way when clear evidence of election fraud appears if it favors the Democrats. This has become a major problem in my country with mail-in ballots and is likely to seriously undermine the integrity of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. China has almost certainly launched a global campaign to affect the outcome of the U.S. presidential election and to ensure the election of Joe Biden. 